Hey there fellow tech lovers, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at a headset stand, well an RGB headset stand from the guys over at Trust Gaming. So enough of this waffle, let's start the intro. Okay, let's have a look at this, shall we? Now, starting with the box. <coughs> it's a box, but it's a really sturdy box, so it's going to withheld. It's going to withheld. It's going to withstand quite a lot of chucking around. If you just purchase this from Amazon, it's going to withstand anything that your courier is going to throw at it. There is a rattling sound in here, which could be something. Now, the name of this, as it says on the box, is Centaur. Now. There are two versions of this headset stand available. You've got this one from Trust Gaming, which is a subsidiary sister company to the tech company Trust, who have been around for quite a number of years now. And I never actually thought that Trust actually got into the gaming scene, but it seems like they have. And it's not just headset stands that these guys produce. You've got keyboards, mice, uh, merch, clothing, clothing lines. Yeah, I think it's quite a lot on their actual website that they actually do produce. Now, if you're going to get this from Amazon like I did, there is two versions. You have this one and one by another company, which looks exactly the same, but with two different differences. That's the same thing, but we'll cover that slightly on in the video. Now, from the box, it does actually show you what you actually have. There isn't much to go on because <coughs> it's just a RGB headset stand. However, on the actual front and the back of your headset stand, it has like an LED ring that goes all around the front. And on the stand itself, where it actually sits on, there is probably three or four LED shrouds where the light will pour through <coughs> now to be fair it's not exactly rainbow color which you would expect with RGB if you've got a PC case or LED light strips it only flashes in three colors red green and blue <coughs> excuse me so it is technically RGB because that's what RGB is red green and blue but uh, check inside information there if you want to show what's going on now this particular one doesn't support audio input via 3.5mm jacks, unfortunately. So if you're wanting one that does come pre-installed with these uh, inputs, the price range varies from company to company. This one has rubber feet, so when you put it on your desk, it's not going to move. Well, not with any... You're going to have to give it some considerable force to move it. but. On a decent desk, if it's not a very slidey surface, it will sit quite flush and proud and it will budge. <coughs> I've got a bloody frog in my throat this morning. Now, the stand itself is quite ergonomic. It's very well designed. It's designed in such a way that your headphone will just sit on the top with your head, sort of the headband thing as I like to call it, 
on top of the actual stand itself and then it just hangs proud so if you put it on the end of your desk you can just chuck your wire in just behind your desk and let it sit there and you're not going to worry about tripping over wires you're not going to worry about getting wires tangled up on drawers around your feet around your chair or like i do when you get up and sort of forget that your wire has actually got caught around your wheel of your chair stand up and on my brick neck so you don't really want that now this stand does include two extra USB ports. Now, they're not USB 3.1, they're not USB-C, they're just your old style type USB 2.1. Now, these are designed for you if you have limited desk space and you don't have that many USB ports on the back of your PC where you can plug in your mouse, you can plug in your keyboard. It's, it's like an extra USB hub, but there's only two, but to be quite fair, if you've got enough USB ports on your PC for your peripherals, you can always use them USBs for charging your phone, charging your vape, uh, charging a battery. You can use it for charging. However, they don't work with integrated peripherals like webcams or USB microphones. Because for some reason, I don't know why they don't work, it's the same sort of technology you find in any other USB, for some reason they just don't like it. So it's for sort of limited peripherals like your keyboard and mouse, like charging stations and stuff like that. Or maybe an extra USB hub, which would work quite well because it's the same system, it's the same integrated technology. I'm going to take a swig of coffee because it's early morning. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, there is a couple of downsides to this device. I mean, yeah, it looks brilliant. I mean, in the colour scheme I got it, I got it black. It does look really, really cool. Now, unfortunately, there is no integrated power switch, which means you can't turn off the RGB. The only way you can do that is by literally unplugging the back USB port. Now, <clears throat> there's one idea I haven't tried, and why are you playing with what? <laughs> one idea I haven't tried, and that is to go through the, uh, the BIOS settings on the motherboard and see if there is an option where you can disable the power function on USB devices from the system powering down. When you turn off your PC and the PC does shut down, the RGB lighting is still active. Oh, hey, this so, unless you want to keep unplugging it every time you finish with it, or if your motherboard does support a BIOS feature where you can turn off power to USB when the system shuts down, you're pretty, you know, you're good to go there. There isn't much you can do on that one, unfortunately. <coughs> I don't know about the other version of this same one. If that supports that feature, we can actually turn off the RGB. And as mentioned previously, with it only being three colours, you can't cycle through any USB, USB any RGB colour scheme. I really can't get my words out this morning. <coughs> Because it, it doesn't support any kind of integrated system. Like for example, if you've got RGB lighting on your PC, it may have something like Corsair IQ or Aura Sync. It doesn't support any of them programs, so unfortunately you're just left with the three colours. But they're not annoying, they're not b too bright to cause annoyance in a dark room. They are sub subtly lit. And they just go with, if you've got a PC system that supports RGB, let's try and get myself comfy, they really do work well together. You won't really notice much difference, but unfortunately that is two of the downsides to this headset stand, is you can't disable power. You could, unfortunately I didn't look into that, so one for another video <laughs> so much for doing a review and unfortunately you can't scroll through the RGB lighting effects which it would have been nice to have it on a single color 
so it, it would match my computer. But it is what it is, unfortunately. But apart from that, it really does work well. It does exactly as it should. It keeps your headset safe. It keeps it off the floor. It keeps it off your desk so you don't knock your cable and send your headset flying halfway across the room. Even if you've got wireless headsets. I mean, wireless headsets will work well. They're ideal for that as well. It just keeps them safe, keeps them out of harm's way. It's up to dog for taking them for a walk and ripping them to shreds halfway down the living room. And it does stop wires getting really tangled up. Again, I would have liked to have seen audio inputs on this. I mean, it would have been a fantastic benefit where you can just have that plugged into the back of your PC or your front audio ports if you use them and just have it sat there, no messing about. But unfortunately, that's the way it is. You can get RGB headset stands that come with 3.5mm inputs, but unfortunately, this one doesn't. But for the price and the functionality, it does perfect. It does exactly what you would want to do. And I'm getting a dry throat, <coughs> as you can probably tell. Oh. So, I think that is it for this little review of the Centaur by Trust Gaming. There's not much else I can add to this because it doesn't really do much at all about hold your headset, which is what you want. So, I would like to thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help with the analytics, believe me, it does. If you have any comments or questions about this said device, pop them in the comment section below and uh, I'll find it back to them as soon as I can. If you did like this video, I mean by all means you can give it a thumbs up and like it and please subscribe to see more following content on this channel where content will be getting gradually better. The, uh, well, the more I get used to my editing software, the more I get used to using cameras. Uh, the next video, I believe, is the Boom app. How to use your little Boom smart speaker, which is sat there. Uh, in the previous video, you might have seen that I was a bit perplexed and amused by the app. Me, I'm old, useless, and thick. And uh, apps for the younger generation don't really get as well with me. But yeah, it is what it is. It's one of them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like and a subscribe if you want to see more content on this channel, which is all tech related. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for joining. There will be a new intro video getting built at some point for the channel. I don't know when. Yeah. I'm going completely off topic now, but stop rambling, stop waffling, because people have probably turned off by now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I shall see you on the next video. Take care, and goodbye for now. Stay safe, and keep it tech.